So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using James Beck's rank one team. He hit rank one with this over the course of the week. And I just want to say before we get like before we get into this team, right? I just want to say that I this is almost my um, international challenge May team. Like, Torkoal, Vested Venusaur, like, that similar Life Orb Zard set with, like, Helping Hand Ghost type. This is the same energy, right? This is the same energy. Uh, it's just upgraded, obviously. It has a Tyranitar to help deal with, like, Dragapult matchups, which was a problem. Um, and then it has, like, bulky Water type with Intimidate. So, like, I, I think this is definitely a better version. And I'm not taking anything away from James. I'm just saying that I was two months ahead of the meta, you know? He's, he, I was just two months ahead of the meta. So, like, in this situation, I don't really mind leading Venusaur Torkoal. Um, just because it forces him to respect the Torkoal, right? So, if I go Venusaur Torkoal and you want to resonate against my Venusaur, first of all, I'll get up my move. I think I'm, I think I'm going to do it. Um, ah, wait, this isn't Specs Torkoal, though. I mean, but actually, technically, I can just go for, like, a Yawn, then. And it's hard to say exactly. I think that, like... Torkoal, Zard seems busted. And I think you bring the Venusaur, and I don't think I need Trick Room. And I don't really want to mess with, like, the Rillaboom. I think I'm going to bring the Gyarados. And this is, like, my first game with the team, so, like, if I'm ass with this team, that's why. Kanto Mr. Rime has followed me in Water. Oh, you're right. It does. And it gets Fake Out. Oh, follow me's Transfer. He gets ally switch, but like, that's lame. Almost, almost. I first pick my draft league. Who do you recommend? Togekiss. Both formats. Togekiss is a pick that I'd pick in both formats. All right, let's go into the games. Let's see what we can get done here. What do you think the most busted move is? Uh, Encore is the most busted move in my opinion. Right, I wonder, can I one shot this to this uh, Lapras? I I'm actually serious. Like I might be able to one shot it. More than that, so how's it going? It's going flawless. All right, so let's see. I think you actually just yawn the Lapras. I think you just yawn the Lapras. I think, like, I'd like to heat... I, I, I will heat wave it. I mean, he's going to fake out the Torkoal. Um, but, like, the Wildfire here. Oh, he doesn't even have Solar Beeps. Like, I have to Wildfire. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Alright, we, we should be able to kill the Labyrinth, though. Chris Prime sub came through again. Gotta use it here. Yo, did you use it? Did I miss it? Yo, I see it. You used it. If for some reason it's not showing it. But I do see that you used it. So I'll put some subs up. Encore can't hit Max Mons. Incorrect. You say incorrect. It doesn't work the same way versus Max Mons. But uh, remember that video? Maybe someone can link it where we got Taunt Encore on our Max Mon. Do you guys remember that? It still does hit them. So if like, you're Encored, um, it still kind of affects you. WB, you're going to be playing doubles and singles. No, you pick singles or doubles. And we're, I'm going to be playing singles in WB. Protect Lapras. That's completely fine. Like, this just puts my dot up. I'll take my dot. I'm actually happier that I went with Heat Wave now, I guess. If you're Encored on a status move, then Dynamax, you will get Taunt in a struggle. Yep. Yep. Is he party shotting my Zard? That's actually really smart, but like, who's coming in to eat? See, if this was a Specs Torkoal, do you see what I'm saying? If this was a Specs Torkoal, you'd be dead. You'd be gone. Wasted out on Route 1. Seriously, this guy got nothing against Specs, but we're not Specs. That would be gone. Do you see how value it would be to make that Pokemon just be gone? That's amazing. Would be still yeeted right now. All right. Um. I mean, it's ticking. I think he's Max got the Zard here. I know we're party shot it, but he's just gonna use follow me. So, and he wants to hit the Torkoal. He's ticking out. And if he wants to hit the Torkoal with like a Max Geyser, well, he's not using Resonance, which is value.
be funny if you max that toga kiss. Man, Torkoal would have tore this guy to pieces if I had Specs Eruption. Just let it be known that the rank 1 team is really good and all. But that's a plus 1. Would have dumpstered this man with my Specs Eruption. There's the follow me. I still kind of need to hit the Seat Wave. Geyser. He is, and he Geyser my Torkoal. He ignored my Zard. What? I mean, that's fine, I guess. That is fine. I don't want to just double switch. I have Gyarados, right? I can switch him, switch up my Zard. Oh, of course. Yes, of course. Our right, Wildfire is doing most of the damage. Right, he's probably going to go for a Resonance soon. I think you actually want to switch. I'm gonna switch it like this. You want to make it so the resonance is like really, how do I put it? Unappealing to go for, right? Good morning, Diamond. And we're switching on our Maximon, but I do think that like saving it and just being able to bring Zard out and saving the Torkoal and be able to bring it out again and just go for like a sun boosted heat wave, I think it's like way too strong. I mean, we might as well just use the Gyarados while we have it. Um, I don't think that, that Labras is, is strong enough to like Oko my Gyarados with Resonance. I think Gyarados will probably live it. And you kind of have to still use Follow Me because you have to respect the, uh, you have to respect the Solar Beam, right? You have to respect the overgrowth in that situation. There's the resonance. It's going to go into my Gyarados, I think. Oh, into that slot. He actually resonated that slot. And because we're best, we're going to be able to live. But I really thought he was going to be hitting the other one. So either way, we're actually still fine. But getting a little bit dicey now, isn't it? A little bit dicey. All right, so that thing's going to get taken out by Gyarados. And then we get to go for a Leaf Storm into the Lapras. What is up, John Poison? And then he has like Incineroar, and we have like full health Zard, so like, I think we're okay. We need to hit a Leaf Storm. All right, let's go. He did get his Resonance up, let's be real. Resonance is up. But I think Zard just has enough damage, especially with like Scorching Sands to take out the Incin. It's like these two. Follow me, there it is. Awesome. So as long as we have this Leaf Storm, we should be in a great spot. You're dead. I wonder if he's gonna try to like go for a max lightning. He, he, he might actually live this. Okay, just kidding. Feels amazing, man. Who said I need to reset the sun? All right, chilling. Too damn hot. Yo, I feel that. I've been skateboarding in the heat recently. It's it's very hot. It's funny how my Venusaur just ate. That resonance. I think that's the funniest part of this game. Is it just ate the resonance. There's the Rilla. Okay. So like Zard is just the sauce here. <laughs> Zard is just the best thing you ever did see. Um, let me actually think. I think we're just gonna nuke the Incineroar. Is there even a reason to like protect? Let me think about that. I think you want to protect the Gyarados for like one turn. I'm gonna weather ball the Incin. I know I have minus two. I'll protect this turn. If you wanna go after my Venusaur, this will just let me bring up my, like any other mountain probably be okay. Cause also if I save the Gyarados and switch the Gyarados back in and get a double intimate, we're probably gonna be fine. Been in the 90s plus. I think it's the, what is it? It's been in the hundreds here, but there's no um, humidity. I mean, have a 498. He does still have resonance. I'm respecting his resonance, yes. Um, but like Torko's still pretty good here. Um, we, we still have all four, right? Never seen Scorching Sand on Zara before. It's pretty good. Yeah. Whenever my Pokemon is Japanese name, I feel really good. I mean, I guess. I want to see one of these mons has to be fake out in the Gyarados, correct? It's almost like I play the game. Is he going for the, like the Grassy God or the Woodhammer into the Gyarados slot? Oh, just double fake out. I mean, I guess. Okay. 
I think you just bring the Zard in here. I think I'm just going to hard switch in the Torkoal. Right? I'm just going to hard switch in the Torkoal and go for just the Heat Wave. And I need to hit that Rillaboom. And I know taking away Gyarados's, uh like Rain Steroid here. But I still think it's the right play. I still think it's the right play. Because, like, Incineroar can't really do anything to Gyarados, especially if I intimidated it. It also can't do anything to, like, Zard because I have Scorching Sands. Historically, like, before Zard got Scorching Sands, Incineroar was a little bit of a bad matchup. And I imagine there's a Berry on the Incineroar and the best from the real. So let's see if we can actually take it out. Grassy Guide, yo, he's going for it. He went for it. He went for it. But don't say I didn't switch correctly. Don't say I'm not ready. Yo, Big Zard, Life Orb, Solar Power, Sun Boosted. Wow, he actually ate it like a champion. Like a champion. Layer it into the Zard slot, right? Ooh. Ow. That's quite a bit of damage. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Rip. Rip Zard. I can't believe we didn't kill uh, the Rilla. That's ridiculous. Don't think I've ever seen him more vested. I mean, he also has a resonance up, guys. He also has a... Uh, what is it? He also has one of those things up. I think you just go for, like... I can switch on my Gyarados. I'm gonna heat wave. He doesn't have protect his best, dude. I'm gonna double heat wave all the way across the sky. He could totally grass got my Zard. I don't give a shit. Like, grass got my Zard. See what happens. Torkoal will win me the game. I don't think it's worth saving the Zard. Switching around. There's the grassy glide. Yep. So all I gotta do is, if I hit this heat wave on the Rillaboom, I should be able to win a game. Like, Lariat won't be able to kill this Torkoal. Flare Blitz. Ooh, maybe. Flare Blitz is stronger. Crit would have done it. Let's be real. Let's be real. Awesome. Melt. I'll take the grassy train. I'll take it. And now Gyarados kind of just comes in and says, Sweep, sweep! It's a perfect time to use our new Magikarp emo. And we're going to be adding a lot more emotes relatively soon. Um, let's go. The body press. I think we actually kind of want to protect. But it's okay. Body press is fine. Body press Torkoal. I never thought I'd see the day. Let's get the big flinch. This is we're gonna practice Barry this turn. Right now, Barry. There it is. I love the new hairstyle. Thank you, my friend. It works. It does work. You hitting who are you hitting though? Are you hitting my Gyarados? Don't hit my Gyarados. Alright, he's in the Torkoal. Alright, he just lined up for Gyarados. There's a new emote? Yep. It's a tier two emote, but it is a new emote. Is Magikarp tier 3? It's tier 2. And the, and the only reason it's tier 2 is because there's no more room in the other tier. This might actually still KO in the sun. That's a super low roll compared to the last one. Give, give me a flinch. Alright, he's not going to be able to kill me with the Lariat. Even a crit Lariat probably wouldn't do it. Yeah. Crit Lariat probably still wouldn't have done it. It's only 1.5. It would have done about 55%. And then we did it. We did it. We won the first game with this busted rank one in the world team. Feels amazing. Man. He saw. Uh, yeah. Also, he sells like a resonance up in the sun. Like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, we take the win. Give me the win. But let's see another Lapras Beware Scizor. Yo, this guy is a little bit lost. I'm thinking I actually like Titar here a lot. I like Titar here quite. I, th I like Titar Gyarados here quite a bit. I think that Titar Gyarados is actually really good for Lapras, and he doesn't have fake outs or anything other than Grim. So like, I think I'm gonna go Titar Gyarados because like it really just shuts the Grim out. <sighs> but then like he's able to go for. If he was Grim Lapras, I mean, I can't stop screens. I can't stop the Grim from setting up screens, so why am I scared of the Lapras setting up screens, right? Um, those two are good. 
Venusaur is still really good here. Uh, and then I think you have to bring Torkoal over the Zard. I think he's really going to expect me to go Zard, and I'm just not a big fan of going Zard versus, like, Dragapult. That's historically not the best matchup. <laughs> and I I'd rather just go with, like, Venusaur to potentially deal with Dragapult. Because Venusaur doesn't need to G-Max, but, like, it can, and it can... There's a couple other things you can do. Like, Venusaur can still use Fire Attacks. It gets Weather Ball now. Okay, that's the hair shirt I could get in game. It's close enough to my real hair. All right. So, Screen's potential. I think we're fine, because we have that big T-Tar. That big T-Tar. My I transferred uh, an SOS Milotic. I got an Ultra Moon and failed to synchronize. Now it's usable? What do you mean? I don't understand. Oh, I got it. I got it. I know what you mean. All right. So, Sands up. He's Infiltrator. Huh. So, he's probably special, which means he's probably going to use Thunderbolt. Right? You ever seen someone as right as me? Did you Dynamax and, like, Thunderbolt there? I think I'm just going to switch to Venusaur. No, wait, he might just go for, like, a... Man, if he goes for Thunderbolt, like, he goes for Thunderbolt, right? I'm going to switch in here. If you go for Thunder Wave, you go for Thunder Wave. I don't think that really matters that much. Like, Thunder Wave Grim would suck. But we had a Lumberry anyways. Like, I guess it's saving our Lumberry Fake Out into the T-Tar, right? What? What an absolute pogger. Thunderbolt. It's almost like I played the game. Feels amazing, man. Alright. Not bad. That's James' team. Yep. That was a good play for me. Alright, there's a couple things I could do here. I could switch out my T-Tar for Torkoal if I wanted to, to regain speed control. I think I'm just gonna lash out the Dragon Bolt. I don't even kill me. And I think I'm actually, as weird as it sounds, gonna go for a Vine Lash into this Grim, because I think I can KO. And I don't really need to be faster, per se. But we put the double dot. I might be able to double tick out. And because I have a physical and a special attacker, um, it makes it a lot harder for him to read the... How do I put it? It makes him a lot harder to read, like, a swipe screen or a reflect. He can only really pick one. So, let's see. They got in T-Tar. Well, everyone's using this team, and the T-Tar is sashed, guys. It's sashed T-Tar. What mod have I enjoyed playing with the most? It's hard to say, really. Oh, is he going for a trick play? Oh. You know, I actually think, I think, there's a, there's a very small chance, but I'm pretty sure we might be getting sniped. But it's, it's, we'll see. That was a really good play. But, like, he took the full timer to do it. Because I took a long time, too. And went for, like, that instead of, like, what he could have gone for. So, wasted our max. So, we're probably going to lose this one. Mixed Dragapult. I feel that, like, he couldn't have done it to the T-Tar, right? But, like, it seems really weird to do it to the Venusaur. Doesn't it? It's like, that's the type of thing you do, like, turn one. Not, like, don't do it at all. <laughs> like, I don't think that Venusaur G-Max was, like, that telegraphed. I mean, we're probably going to lose this one. We'll see. Lapras. Yeah, he's going to put a replay. That's all I can do. Uh, his Grimmsnow can't do anything anymore. Vested. And like, he fake out of the ins the the T-Tar too. Anyone else experiencing stream? Don't think I've really dropped any frames. What well, city recommend for a low executor? Um, I used the Lowen Executor all day yesterday, so I would check out yesterday's stream. Yeah, that's right. That's it's a good right. amount of damage. It's a weakness policy? Holy moly. Shiny bugs, thank you for the follow. Can I hit this? It's a lot of damage still. Crit the Grim? I'm incorrectly critting. Alright, he's gonna Lariat. Lariat's weird. I think he thought I might switch there. 
Max Lightning, he looks like Gyarados gone. But he's not setting his resonance then. So that's a win. Let's see. We have did we bring Torkoal? Yeah we did. Alright. New way out is clean. I like the way out. Actually think about this. I have to do this guy. There's two ways I can do this. I'm thinking. I think I kind of want to sludge bomb the Grim and do a single target rock slide because I don't want to leave Storm right now. Oh wait, couldn't I weather ball? Doesn't weather ball turn into a a rock move? Yeah. That's dope. Weather ball. Yeah, it doesn't have to KO, it just has to get it low. And then we have to hit a rock slide. Feels good. Leatherball Venusaur? Woo! Yo! That's... That's spicy! No wonder this team's the best team in the world. I only has one mom left. Max down, no resonance up. We got three mons. We're in a pretty good spot here. Holy moly. Weather Ball Venusaur, that's right. Um, I think it's the right play to go for this. Because the poison would be more valuable than like a Leaf Storm. And if Leaf Storm missed, like that's it's kind of game over. Thought oh, value. In fact, we outspeed with Beware. Yeah, he can't can't melt all of us. You could only stop one of us. Yeah, Drain Punch, T-Tar. Ow! Oh! He has Drain Punch! It's fine. Luke Storm should KO from there, I think. Is that max speed T-Tar? It is. Stand switch besides, never lucky. No more takes. Alright, you ready? For the big boy. Big Torval Energy. Alright, E-Wave should hit. This is where Eruption would be so value. Weather Ball. Boosted by the Power Sun. Weather Ball Venusaur, so busted. I'm sure he's fluffy too, so it's like the big damage. Melted. Wasted on Route 1. Weather Ball Venusaur. So good. Yeah, you know we got that chlorophyll ability. You know that's what we're about. That's a cool team. This guy's name is James. Hi, mate. Um, very fast team. Uh, I think if there was one person that we were going to Trick Room, it would be him. So, like, I think I want to go, like, Dust Clops. Uh, do I want to go Zard here? Zard Torkoal is actually enough damage. What if I want, like, Zard Torkoal? No, I don't think you want to lead the Torkoal. I think you want to go, I think you want to lead Zard. I think you're going to lead, like, Zard Gyarados. Torkoal? But then we don't, we really struggle versus, like, that T-Tar over there. No, that's why I'm leading Garrus. Awesome. That makes sense. Alright, and then I think we just go Venusaur, then. Alright. Why would I Trick Room? This is why I'm not rank 1 with this team. Yeah, this is, um, this is a weird, the Eevee Spread and the Dust Clops and the Torkoal are both kind of weird. Have you ever done anything with Wolf? No, Wolf doesn't like me. I've played him on ladder a bunch of times. But, like, Wolf would never collab with me. Wolf doesn't really collab with anyone outside of his, like, circle. So, like, Wolf will collab with Marcus. Wolf will collab with uh, Aaron Zhang. And you see Wolf dip his dip his hands in, com like, collabing with, like, uh, like what is that guy's name? Alpha Rad, Smash Player, and, like, a little bit of, like, A-Drive and stuff like that. But, like, Wolf would never associate with the common folk, per se. Let's get into this game. I'm gonna leave with. I haven't really used Gyarados this season. Gyarados is pretty good. Gyarados is always busted. Togekiss and Teleon. So this is actually a lead that I figured they might lead with. Uh, I think... So I don't know how that Togekiss is built, but if I can get an Airstream off, the game's over. Right? Their game is legit donezo. Because um, you just go for the Dynamax Airstream. I think you want to try and hit the Inteleon with it. But I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the Togekiss. 
and you're switching the Torkoal, so this is going to give me the uh, Sun, this is going to give me the Solar Power, and you don't want to go for the Wildfire yet, you want to go for the Wildfire in a couple turns, and like I said, these Tokuses, sometimes they're full HP specialty, and sometimes they're not, you know, sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. So we'll see. And he didn't Dynamax, so he's probably going for a Snipe Shot, which is another reason why we had to get that speed boost. I am totally a man of the common people. I feel like Tokus should be a lot more physically defensive lately, too, because of Rillaboom. Right? So, like, I think we might be able to KO here, but you gotta look at this Tokus and realize that Tokus is actually on the team. Oh, you just went for the raw Snipe Shot. Incorrect. <laughs> Are you Orb too? Wow, we thick. Alright, so Airstream, please let me KO here. Feels amazing, man. Alright, so we're gonna take Life Orb and Solar Power damage, but, like, I think we're in a good spot. Unga Bunga Offense Kiss. Looks like that one might have been that one. I still think he has to, he has to, like, Dynamax now to, like, try to fight the Zard. And the thing is, like, now I outspeed him, right? So that's the whole issue here. It's like, now what? Uh, Zard, what was it? T-Tar would be good here. Yeah, there's the T-Tar. Uh, I think the actual play is to body press. Oh, do I want to go for, like, an uh, Airstream into the Inteleon? And will that make my Torkoal faster than his T-Tar? Torkoal's pretty slow, but this isn't like a speed reduce one. I mean, this will just KO the Inteleon. Let's try it, huh? That'd be dope, right? I trust that James Beck would know. The creator of the number one team in the world would know this calc. Plus two Torkoal speed melts the T-Tar. Um, every use Alcrami all the time. Tons of Alcrami use. Speed, it, the the Torkoal's EV spread is the speed creep of the Torkoals. Sure. It also outspeeds like Hat and stuff like that. So you don't have to like deal with like Hatterene's just not setting TR. It'd be really cool if like this lets us this let us outspeed the T-Tar. It would be so sick. I'm sure he's hitting the Zard too. So like we're actually gonna get like a, at least one guaranteed body press off, and then we're just gonna send our Gyarados and Waterfall and be fine. Should everyone walk and bury a life orb on my offensive Gyarados? Uh Life Orb, Lumb Barrier, Expert Belt, I would say. Ah, never lucky. If he hits a Torkoal, he's a god. He's a god. Yo, he knows. Torkoal lived? The the boy who lived. Torkoal. My guy. Oh, Torkoal. Like a freaking champion. What is that? And we get the crit, too? I take those all the way to the bank. Wow, Torkoal out. He's really out here right now. Best Pokemon ever. You're correct. And he respected the Torkoal. Like, I've been saying for a long time. They sleep on the Torkoal. Stout one. Oh, that's so annoying. Actually, I'm faster than it. I'm at plus. I'm at that's a plus two yeah, speed. Right. I'm faster than that's you. Right. You're dead. Yo, thank you for the follow, Brando TV. Appreciate it. I should still outspeed this stat one with my Zard, because we're at plus two speed. So is he. You be vested. AV Torkoal? That's a good set. People use it in the past. I still think Spex Torkoal is the best. Right? But Wildfire. Yo, that's right. Big Wildfire. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, he shouldn't have lived that. So he's going to take out um, to the Wildfire, but let's see if he's actually going after the Torkoal. Crunch. No! He, he respects the- Oh, Torkoal! The boy who lived again! Torkoal! <laughs> Torkoal's so thick! Have you ever seen a Torkoal that just ends this many careers? Like, what is the spread? Oh my gosh. Torkoal is just the best Pokemon. Extra thick. Yo, that is correct. Holy moly. That's just the... I mean, Torkoal can go down now. That's fine. You can tick out. I don't even need any Pokemon on the board. 
take those big wins. Leave it, yeah, leave it to James Beck, created this team, the number one team in the world to make the best bulky Torkoal Eevee's bread. No beat up strats. I think that's actually a Sash Tarakion. Uh, I've seen this team before, I think. So I'm pretty sure that's L Sash Tarakion. So it makes me really want to go Venusaur here. Venusaur Gyarados seem very good here. Because like the Intimidate onto that guy's board just shuts him out. And then you want to bring Torkoal because it's the best Pokemon we've ever seen in our life. And I don't think I want Zard. I think you actually want the Titar, as weird as that sounds. I think Titar outspeeds a decent number of those guys. And the Sash is going to give us the value. Let's go. But thank you so much for the game. You were the guy we played in the last game. I appreciate it. That was a fun one, for sure. Alright. It's time. It's time. What's current rank? Uh, I don't even know. We're just goofing around. I haven't lost today. <laughs> I have not lost. Talonflame Trakion? Yo, that value intimidate. Don't you know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? The value intimidate. Straight value. Like, unlimited value here. I think I'm gonna Dynamax this Venusaur. First try. Torkoal Titar on the back. If we can take both these guys out without losing them on, we can. What, the game's over. If he even wants to set, if he wants to like set Tailwind and like Rock Slide, not it. If he wants to set Tailwind and Rock Fall, like I don't think he'll get the KO. Uh, if he wants to Brave Bird the Venusaur and Rock Slide, I don't think he'll get it. If he wants to Brave Bird the Gyarados and Rock Fall the Gyarados, he'll get it. Yo, is that Keanu Source subscribing six months, evolving into the Metapod squad? I always knew that you could, I always knew you could be. Thank you so much, my friend. Yo, the big sub six months. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. Yeah, let's go. There was no reason to switch the Torkoal in here. Um, I guess there might have been, but like, I didn't want to switch it on a rock slide, right? Because he could still totally tail one. I think he's just going for the Brave Bird. Oh, tail one? Absolutely fine. Please. Waste your time. 2019. Rock slide. That's not it. Oh, he crit me. That sucks. We would have been fine. We would have been absolutely fine. The town flame would be dead, right? Everything would be fine if he didn't crit that rock slide. That might lose me the game. There's a sash in the truck, and it's like I said, that's why we actually use the vine lash. Really, really sucks, by the way, that that had to happen just like that. Like, quite unfortunate. Um, we would have been absolutely fine. The game would have been over. Okay, what do we want to send out then? Probably just T-Tar. t, -tar. t is such a good Talon Flame check. And that Talon Flame's like, it is intimidated. So is the Tarakion. Duraludon. Okay. What does Venusaur outspeeds that Duraludon? Like, I think I can pull a fast one on this turn. And go for like a Quake into that slot. And like hard switching the Torkoal this turn and just like completely pull a fast one on him because he might even just flash cannon the T Tar slot. I know he has a tailwind up, but like it depends on how bulky the Duraludon is because we have 204 points in speed. So Duraludon has five more base speed on us, but if he's like on a bulkier set, I'm pretty sure he's maxing it. And remember, he's ticking out not only from the uh, he's ticking out not only like he might be orb or something, but also the Vine Lash. Let's switch out the T-Dar. Got a bait and switch. And let's see it. It'd be really cool if Venusaur outsped the uh, Daryl Udon. I know he's gonna go for like a Brave Bird uh, with the Town Flam. Oh, it would suck if we were getting Flare Blitz. Cause like we just set the sun. He is intimidated though. I still think we live it. It's just like, it's not as saucy, you know, it's not as good, not nearly as good. Big drill. I don't know if we can actually KO here. It's hard to say. Boy, what's oh that's so bad. I mean we do get to eat it, just like I said, but like never ever lucky. That's a plus one. Quake, awesome. Uh he's just he's vested. Alright. 
Oh well. Let's see if it's steel spiking my Torkoal slot though. Let us see. Weak. Oh, is that weakness policy? I thought he was vested. He's just really bulky. More mind. Okay, it wasn't steel spiking. He nuked the Venusaur. I'm actually kind of okay with that. As weird as that sounds. Venus life orb. Um, no, nah, that that drew would just really, really thick. Yeah, the talent, the crit on the Gyarados lost us the game. 100%. The game would have been won if we would have got that. Is there anything we can do in this situation? I think he's gonna hit the Torkoal. So it's like I think we have to play around that. I think he's going to respect our boy. I really don't want to have to superpower Dura Ludon. A Torkoal can't go for a body press on that Dura Ludon either. Like, I could, but I don't think I should. What's up, that's not much. We're just trying our best. I think this is the only thing we can even do. I don't know if you'd go after the T-Tar, because T-Tar should be trying to protect Bay to get a policy proc. Just notice the notification? I've been shiny hunting more Peko. Yo, more Peko's busted. Yeah, at least they- I told you! Res they respect Torkoal! And since my stats have dropped in, wouldn't my last shot have been fucking super strong? Isn't that how that move works? I mean, I didn't use it, but... Uh, we'll take that guy out with, uh, the vines. Alright. Chitar still has its sash. Torkoal's still quite healthy. Talonflame is ticking. I might actually just protect my Chitar next turn. We'll see. This is, this is a good, close game. That was a good play. He respected Torkoal. Hmm. Is that Fairy? I think we win. Your board's terrible. I did a double protection. I just get the but it's fine. Yep, we got him. You disrespect my Titar by respecting my Torkoal. He just wanted to get the Torque off the board, and I was like, no! Okay, Toxapex. With Venusaur. I wonder if it's. I wonder what kind of Venusaur it is. I kind of want to go Gyarados. Or like, I want to also talk about like potentially weeding Titar. Like the double sun is very hard to deal with. Uh, I could also just like weed Torkoal. I think I will weed the Torkoal. And I think I'm going to yawn. Like Torkoal Charizard seems like actually really decent against this. We can yawn things and kind of just win the game. Titar is still fun, and I think you bring the Venusaur. Being able to have like Venusaur with like the ability to switch in Titar. Wait, what if I led? What if I did this? What do you guys think about this? Just let me know. And I'm gonna have a slower switch out for my Titar and I'm a Weather Ball with Zard. That's dope. You Toxic? Toxpex Umbreon's really good. The things that beat them are switched. Umbreon's weak against like Fighting, Bug, um, fighting bug and fairy, and Toxpex resist all of those. All right? Good coverage. Yo, Schmidt's gifting a sub to ID, ID Town Brown. Yo, Schmidt, you gifting the sub so nice. So, you ever seen something as nice? Twice as nice. Thank you so much for the sub, my friend. Really do appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna switch out for Titar. Don't even think I need a Dynamax, per se. Right? Don't think I need to. Is there a pace for this team? There is. So it's like the paste is... I'll post the paste. The paste is right here. Lunch time. Be back in a bit. Yo, thank you so much. That's right. Welcome. You lose speed? That's fine. Maybe I should have Dynamaxed it, but like we're vested. I think I might be able to just eat it. That was my idea. 
Maybe I should have maxed it. I probably should just maxed it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh... It's just a sash T-tar. The Mucky Duck 2. Thank you for the follow. Heat wave, there it is. Miss on Venusaur. Oh, Poggers. Let's go. Show me Scorching Sands T-tar. Show it to me. Airstream. I think we can eat it. Oh, Airstream, the he respected Torkoal, and he will, he will fail. How about you eat one of these? These nuts. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. All right, all right let me think about this. Huh. Does Cop's here for Torkoal? I would say so, yeah. Speaking of Torkoal, let's go, let's go Torkoal again. <laughs> Alright, we need to outspeed there. Um, I think you just want to use it. Because I don't know if I... I think Vinelash would still KO, right? It's fourth, but like, he's low AF. Oh, I could be switching in on a Sludge Bomb, though. It'd be game to get this thing ticking. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't think Vinelash KOs. I think it does. It's fourth. I think it still KOs it. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I mean, I haven't brought Dust Cops once, and I've won every game. I'm sure James brings it all the time, but I just haven't brought it. You have to respect it. Like, that's one of those things, like, in Team Creeps, you have to respect those things. I do think it's greedier, I would say, going for the Vine Lash here. But having that already up to where, like, next turn I can switch up my Torkoal Gang and go for, like, a Weather Ball. Yeah. It's extreme value. Nah, I don't think it's going to be anti-Trick Room. This team's good in Trick Room. Like, you're in a Trick Room, the T-Tar Torkoal team? Will will Go for it. That's value. This guy's like, what the hell is this team? <laughs> And he's like, how much value it is. Like, there's an Umbreon over there. Um, I think we're actually going to go for, like... Ooh, body press. Uh, you actually just want to yell on the Umbreon. And I think you just Quake the Ninetales. 2 view T-Tar? What about it? Full speed T-Tar is slower than any sweeper. It's slower than any sweeper. You say he's going to yawn spam? He can't. Right? Because he can't switch. I have three months. He has two. So, like, we get the yawn. Poke TV, how's it going? Snarl, go for it. Miss on Torkoal? Because Torkoal's the best. And there's the yawn. And he's ticking from the uh, grass move. The, the vines. Show me that last one on Pex. Look at that damn it. Big damage. Show me packs. Oh. oh, yeah. You get a yawn. You get a yawn. Everyone gets a yawn. I want to ooze. Don't need any more special D. You get a special attack boost. Make it back up to neutral. Is Giga Drain optimal on Venusaur? Not on this one. You need the Leaf Storm. Love the new layout. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm surprised more people aren't talking about the new layout. You'll get that Lazarus layout. I actually had to build this myself for the most part. For the most part. The Avested Weather Ball Venusaur has been something I built a long time ago. Toxic Spikes. Why would I switch when I can just win? I have a poison type. <laughs> like, all I do is switch out, switch back in. Looks clean, Boro. Yo, I appreciate that. Alright, let's see if it's Citrus Berry. There it is. Yep. What software did you use to build the way out? Uh, paint.net. I just put a bunch of pictures. Like, Lazarus has, like, the webcam overlay, so I took that, put it on, like, the dot background. Um, I took and I put the webcam overlays. One's on my webcam, one's on the screen. Uh, I took and put all of our sponsors, just posted it down there. 
Was team sponsorship a big deal for you? I've not heard much about that move for you, but congrats. It is a big deal. Like, that's a big deal. Like, we're, like, it's a real esports play. Oh, T-Tar. I thought I had, oh, I, I do have Zarf left. It's right, it's right, right there. Switch to Zarden. Have you also changed your recording software or something because quality is super clean too? No, it's higher quality because it's not as big of a, a screen, right? Um, I'm using a, so like you can tell by, like look at the light, like so. See, this is what it normally looks like, but we're using a different lighting program. Or not program, but like a different light setup. So the light's better. There's less um, actual game screen, so it makes a higher resolution. Toxic Pecs. Toxic spikes pecs. I should have known I'd be disappointed. Hey, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, right? That vine lash is so value. Yeah, we're doing our best. We're doing our best. We still got the Patreon thing ticking. We got the bit bucket back. Looks super dope. I agree. And I want to replace, the, like, the new follower, new tip, top tip type thing. But, like, because it doesn't really... Those colors are ones I had from an old overlay. So I need to find a new, like, thing for that. But once I do that, it's going to be fine. Those are what we use in the Let's Go overlay. Look at that big damage from, like, minus one special attack to Oracle. The sunlight fades on his career. I don't actually know if there's a turn left of Vine. It'd be cool or not, I guess not. Never lucky. It's okay. Undefeated. This team is the best thing you've ever seen. Can Scorching Suns miss? They can't. That's good. Finally, Zard has a move that can't miss. I can't believe it. I'm so used to using like Air Slash, Heat Wave, Focus Blast. It's crazy having a move that just hits. No, a low Ninetales is really good. I, I like Encore sets. Like Encore, like Freeze Dry, Protect. I like using Roar on it too. I don't think Roar's is good in this gen. But like it's a good check to like Trick Room on. You just Roar them. It's one of my favorite ways to stop Trick I room. love Braviary. Very underrated mod at the moment. Do we want to lead Torkoal? What do you guys think about Torkoal? I think Venusaur is really good here. Venusaur is super dope here. I don't remember the dust clops. Yeah, that's I'll try right. these four. That's right. Yo, Graves. Isn't that the name of a League of Legends champion? Yo, that's a that's an old name. That means you're that means you're an important person having that cool of a name on Twitch.tv. Hopefully, uh, I don't let you down. Double rush your work like the pledges. That could it'd be cool. It is, but I despise that game. Oh, I'm so sorry, my friend. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. You must get that a lot. I'm sorry. I I really am. All right. So let's actually think about what I wanted to do in this situation. Because, like, I don't know if I outspeed that Braviary. But, like, I could do the exact same thing I did, like, the turn before. Where I go for, like, the Weather Ball. I want to see something. 130, it's so yeah, much that's stronger. Right. That's right. Yo. Big Rigor, 123. Thank you. I think I'm just gonna vine wash here. And actually go for like. I think I am gonna switch. No, I'm gonna keep Torque on the board for one turn. One turn of keeping Torque on the board. Try making this team. Make a team with the Dene. We have a team with the Dene coming out next week. Very common correction. This is in the space. Yeah. Ben, binging on YouTube and saw you were live. Came by for a bit. Yo, I appreciate you, my friend. Yeah, we stream pretty much every day. We stream weekdays, right? I stream on weekends if I can. But, like, we stream every weekday. Put this chair up a little bit. Are you not maxing or are you maxing with Bravery? I think I can eat an Airstream. 
I really think I can. Does it any have plus or minus? Ah, he has one of them. You use plus or minus, and you pair it with like a Toxtricity. That's what we have planned. Yet, what is it? Brave Bear is going to be a problem, and I don't really want to yawn it, because like 90% of the time they have a Lumberry. So like, I think the best way to beat it is to kind of just like deal with the Melodic, right? And then put up the Vine Lash, and then send out the T-Tar, and have T-Tar just like clock sash, beat it up. Like, you fought on your Melodic here and eating a single target Heat Wave? I would love it if I got a burn, too, because that would take away your Lumberry. So that would be dope. Airstream. I don't think I die, either. Because you don't have any procs. Oh, I died! Is that a crit? Are you orbed? He has to be orbed. He has to be. I can't believe that killed me. We ate a Resonance in not Dynamax form on this guy. This is like a bulky Venusaur. He's not orbed. an airstream so Zard's not the sauce here I'm just not the dark now we'll see things aren't looking too good for our hero that was a pro that's lame um I have to switch out the T-Tar I mean, he's not he's not lumberried though so it's like he might be expert belted. I know it looks weird to yawn this torque, uh, yawn the incinero, but I think it's the right play. Yep. I couldn't just eat the fake out superpower into it. I could not. Yep. And I actually get to like live a turn. So like pretty value I would say. Okay. He's just gonna switch it, I know. Let's see. Thank you so much for the sub. Holy moly. I've almost missed it. Guys, put some subs up. Put some, put some big subs up. Yo, Mr. Dolodold. I Do DLD. Thank you so much. Oh, what do we do here? We have the T-Tar, right? I think you have to just heat wave. I think you just double heat wave here. Because you can only really hit one. And this is his last turn of max. Brave, uh, the very I was supposed to be in a team this week. I just didn't get around to using it. He goes after the Torkoal. Yeah, that was, that's the right choice to actually go after the Torkoal, I would say. Um, but we're thick, remember? No, yeah, Brave was supposed to be in that Trakion team. The Trakion team that we used yesterday was supposed to not have Torkoal and Executor and have Brave instead. Brave is like still incredibly good. Feels amazing. That's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Party shot, go for it. Hit my Zard? Yeah, that's complete. He's like, yes, I played around though. I played around the Yawn. I was like, did you though? Like, but did you play around the Yawn? Because like, I don't think you did. You're still gonna eat this heat wave. You're still gonna take a Vine Lash, you're still gonna take Sandstorm damage. I don't think you played around the Yawn very well. How's it going? Thank you so much for the sub. Always get that special attack boost. Oh, just missed. Oh, that sucks. I needed to hit that Braviary. Oh, that's bad. That hurts. No, I don't like dual wing butte. That's bad. Brave Bird's way better. That sucks that we didn't get that. We would have won the game if we would hit the Braviary with a heat wave there. Yeah. Do you see like how low he is? Probably should have just body pressed it. I have T-Tar on the back, which is, and it's still a pretty good Mon. It's fine. I should probably just yawn this Porygon, but it's okay. Keep drawing. Awesome. So the fact that he's withdrawing first means he's going to waste his Intimidate. 
He puts a trick on me. I don't think that that's the sauce. Porygon's going to take a Vine Tick. This is the last tick of Vines. And a Sandstorm Tick. And a Heat Wave hit. And then he'll be slower than my Torkoal, so we'll just double Body Press. Try attack, that's fine. Hit the Torkoal. Yes, he has a special attack boost, so Torkoal's gonna go down. Otherwise, he wouldn't have. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I see you. I see you. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Let me think about this. I have that Zard. He has Fake Out up. He's gonna Fake Out my T-Tar. Right? <sighs> he has to Fake Out the T-Tar. So it doesn't matter what I really do. I think you just gotta go for the Heat Wave. Scorpion Sands can KO the... You have to superpower this Porygon. And Scorching Sands. I could double protect, then you get a Trick Him Up. And you have the Incent. Versus, I don't care if he gets a Trick Him Up if he has Braviary. You know? They got the T-Tar. Yep. If I take out the Incent, I'm not as afraid. Because I can just Rock Slide. You know? You might actually hit the Zard. Recover? Oh, that's fine. It's not super fun. Um, but like I outspeed the Braviary and can just heat wave superpower. Should be able to win the game. It's a great Friday. Yo, Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. I should still be able to get this. I think Heat Wave plus Superpower takes out the Porygon. What do you guys think? You guys think it does? I missed one heat wave to cost me the game earlier, so. Let's go for it. Giga Drain, Leafstone's better. You need Giga Drain. Ooh, that's making it. So it's like, uh, that's not as good. All right, let's see what we got, though. Heat Wave. I'd like to still hit the Porygon, please. All right. It's actually still a lot of damage. I still think we might be able to do it. T-Tar, full attack T-Tar, super power. Oh, are you real right now? That sucks. Try attack. Oh, he try attacked my Zard. All right. I guess we lose. I can't believe that, man. I can't believe that. And that was a really good protect on the Braviary, by the way. It's huge, huge protect. And he just calls combat to me and we lose. Very, very close game. Um, we would have won the game 100% if we hit that Heat Wave on the Braviary. Do you see how low it is? So we would have won. There's nothing else I can actually do other than just go for a Rock Slide. Close combat will take me out, though. Oh, wait. What? We're faster than this Braviary? I guess we win. What? <laughs> what? We're faster than your brave. Okay, okay. You can't just be making your brave yards be slower than my T-Tar, okay? That's on you. That's not on me. You can't, you can't just be doing that. I like Zard here, but I don't know if it's like the right play. Cause like, oh, well, Zard's actually really good too. Yeah, Zard's, Zard's pretty dope. Zard, I, I like Zard Gyarados actually. I just don't know if we have like, I think Zard T-Tar is also pretty nice. It loses to the Torko super hard though, so I don't know. What if I just want like Zard Venusaur? See, the problem with some of these is like I can't really deal with like. I need to bring Titar to be able to switch in, right? I think you just go for the Torkoal. Let me bring the Titar to switch in, and then you bring the Venusaur. There you go. Yeah, for the person that was uh, in the chat, so like, I'm playing the game, you come to the stream, you are in the stream interacting with me, which means you can see my moves, which means you can hear what I'm talking about, because you're talking to me, right? So that means, since you're talking to me, I cannot pick or talk about the move choices that I'm supposed to make, which is ruining everyone else's experience. And so if that's how you're going to be, I'm just not going to play the game. So, I wonder what the whole point of that lead is. Like, he could follow me, sure. This special B boost, too. It's a little bit annoying. Do I want to go for a Yawn? 
I could also just switch in my Venusaur here, I think. I think I could actually switch in the Venusaur and just protect. I mean, he's going to Rock Slide or Rock Fall, right? Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to go for a Raw Heat Wave and Hard Switch at the Torque of a Venusaur. And if he goes for a Rock Fall, well, then we'll be able to switch back in our Torque and be fine. No, I didn't ban anyone, did I? Yeah, I didn't ban anybody. There's the Rock Fall. And that's, I think this is fine. I think he's just going to go follow me Rock Fall. Which is one of the reasons why we wanted to switch out the Torkoal, too. That's a good amount of damage. Can I get a burn? Give me a burn! Damn, I haven't got a burn on Heat Wave in like a million years. Wait, he didn't... Oh, wait, he actually went for the Expanding Force. Wow! So no following. That sucks. There's a Rock Ball. Cool. So he wasted the turn of his max there. Um, I wonder if I want to come in with my Torkoal or not. Because I can come with the Titar. Titar would actually be a lot of value here, too. Pretty sure the Venusaur... Actually, no, we, we have to go with, uh... have to go Torkoal, otherwise we'll take out. Yeah, did you crit me? <laughs> I didn't even notice. Alright, so... We can KO the Indity this turn. I think you actually... Like, I'm thinking about Body Pressing. I don't know if Body Press will KO. I don't think it will. I think it's worth a shot. If he protects Crocodile and goes after the Venusaur, he's just really good. And follow me. That's completely fair. This should, this should be able to take it out, even though it's a plus one. And that's why you want Leaf Storm over Giga Drain. Because, like, Giga Drain wouldn't have got the KO there at plus one. Plus one special D. He can take out the Venusaur right now if he wants. And if he doesn't take out the Venusaur, if he takes out the Torkoal, like, first of all, that's not going to take me out. And I still have my Venusaur. That's so value. And he's giving me a special D boost, but we're not even playing around that. I, I can still actually kill that guy. Is that weakness policy? Wow. So it's a really bulky crook. I wonder if I want to max, though. I still have T-Tar in the back. But, like, I don't know if T-Tar is really good versus last couple. Porygon. T-Tar is not the best versus Porygon last time I checked. Special attack boost, probably. Always special attack boost. I think I'm just going to go for the raw Loon Storm without having a Dynamax. I'm at minus two. He's at plus one. And he's bulky. We'll see. Yes. That's value. But yeah, that guy came in and like started talking. like, And I can't talk about the moves that I'm making. You see, I always talk about the moves that I make and the reason I make them before I lock everything in. Can't do that, you know? Trick room. Oh, value. I, get, I still get to keep my Venusaur. It's still alive. <laughs> I haven't even Dynamaxed yet. I think we just lose the Venusaur this turn, though. Like, let's see. Oh, it's his Torkoal. His Torkoal is actually better than mine in this situation. I want to get my T-Tar in. And so Porygon's going to be asleep this turn. Because that's a Psychic Train, not a Misty Train. Has your Berry proc yet? Uh, I think it did. 
So you see how it's much smarter to go for the protect there instead of trying to like risk that damage. So like right now we just protect it away. Um, and then the Porygon, I don't really care what he does. He has to go to sleep. Ice Beam. You sleep. Big nap time. Big T-tar time. I think I'm just going to body press Rock Slide. I think we still Rock Slide as Torkoal too. You don't really have time to yawn anymore. This would get redirected. No, it wouldn't. So actually, we want to go over here. I think we can KO it. I think Rock Slide might be able to do it. Oh, I haven't Dynamaxed yet. What the fuck am I doing? Why am I not Dynamaxing? Oh, he has Body Press! No! Good thing that's Sash, but like, he Body Pressed me, chat! Never lucky, that's a plus one. It's <laughs> a lot of damage. Alright, so Porygon has to be asleep this turn. If I can hit this Rock Slide and dump so that Torkoal, maybe we can get something done, but I don't think Rock Slide even KOs. Not even close! Yeah, we lost. We lost, I think. That's probably game. Um, the best I can do is try and yawn the Torkoal, I think. Like, his Torkoal. I didn't think he'd have it, right? Mock Rock Ball, I got it. It might have, actually. Like, that was definitely a misplay for me. Turns on Trick Room R2. The thing is, I still have my Torkoal. So it's like, I'm kind of looking at this like... I'm about to just Dynamax my Torkoal. I should have yawned that turn, though. I just didn't think his Torkoal had it, you know? I didn't think he had it in him. Because he had the Eruption. I thought it was the spec set, you know? There's the Eruption. Really? That's actually really smart. He's just going to get a lot of free damage on my Torkoal. There's the, you know, let's see if he wakes up with his Porygon this turn. He totally can. Okay. I think I have to go for a double Protect. And if I get it, that's the game. Yeah, I should have rock balled that Torkoal first turn though. Oh, we got the double! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Eruption, go for it. So I think the Porygon's gonna take out from... I think the Porygon's gonna take out, right? He's gonna take my Body Press and the Sandstorm Tick. So he has to like wake up or cover. Oh, he has one more turn. Oh, he wakes up! He's Thunderbolts, okay. Okay, the Trick Room's over though, right? The Trick Room is over. We have to flinch, we have to do some damage. We have to flinch that Torkoal. I can't believe that Porygon woke up. Oh, Torkoal's asleep. I forgot. I don't have to attack the Torkoal. We win. The game's over. We did it. Oh my gosh, we did it. The double. Because we just hit the Porygon with the superpower. Torkoal has to be asleep. And then we wake up and we did it. Oh my gosh, we stole it. One HP goes to two. Big Dynamax emotes up. Torkoal has to be asleep. D Max T Tar one HP. Yo, that's the sauce, right? He, I, I didn't want him to protect. Cause that we didn't he was just at the range where like I think this is the last turn of Sandstorm. Um So like we didn't want him to protect. I would say oh it's one more turn. Alright, well, I still wanted to do it. And then we get that big plus one. And then they call me that's a plus one. And then I go for the biggest rock ball ever. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I came back. The double protect. Sometimes lucky. Sometimes lucky. Okay, what, are you gonna, what are you gonna do? GG's, yeah, that was a good game. That was actually, we, we should have just Dynamaxed earlier, right? Right, we should have just Dynamaxed earlier.